global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Earlier last week, uh, the presidency ad advised APC in Edo State to avoid illegalities or processes that may uh, hamper their success or victory stories, especially those that took place in Zamfara rivers and of course Bayasa. He admonished them not to allow a repetition to take place in Edo those states i'm afraid something similar may be coming up if judging by the fillers we are hearing already if this pulls through then we may be looking at the biasa syndrome taking place in edo after the elections of course as um apc cam campaign suffers setback as adp accuses easy yamos running mate of certificate forgery a document show four name variant Ayodu Abdu Ga Ganiyu. Another one again is Aodu Ab Abudu Ganiyu. Another one again, Aodu Gani. Another one again, Aodu Ahudu Ganiyo. All different, different spellings, of course. Some are carrying I, some are carrying E, and the rest. Now, the running mate of the, a candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, in the September 19 governorship election in a do state, Dani Aodu, is embroiled in a certificate forgery case. As documents submitted to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, showed disparities in its academic qualifications other means and other means of identification. The disparities appear in a number of documents and shows a trail a trial similar to the inconsistencies found in the academic credentials of the sacked deputy governor of Bayasa State, that's Biobara Kunuma, Dige Eriminio, which caused the APC to lose the state after Supreme Court ruled that the certificates were defective, thereby nullifying the party's ticket in that state's recent governorship elections. To compound Aodu's war, the Action Democratic Party, ADP, has instituted a court case at the Federal High Court of Buja, seeking the court to disqualify the candidate of the APC as a result of defective certificates of his running mate. The ADP is seeking the is asking the court to rule the certificate submitted by Aldo as forged and that he was not fit to stand for the September 19 governorship election in Edo State. In the document, in the document, while Ghani Aldo swore to an affidavit submitted to INEC with his name as Aldo Abdu Ghaniyu, his other documents bear conflicting names. A legal expert, Mr. Blessed Omunua, who ass assessed the document said, while his name on the affidavit is Ab Aoudou Abdu Abudu Ganiyu, in his voter's card, his name is Aoudou Abdu Ganiyu. Likewise, in his, in his APC membership card, his name appears to as his name appears as Gani Aoudou. The WAC or GCE, the WASE, that's W A S S C E, or GCE certificate he submitted bears. Aoudu Ahudu Ganeyu. His APC membership card bears the name Aoudu Gani. Jesus, this is so much. The disparities are bewildering. The action violates section 182, subsection 1, subsection J of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended. Hence, there is no way we can say that a person with these conflicting names is the same as Ghani Aoudou we see today on the campaign trail of the candidate of the APC. The only explanation one can hazard is that he may have used the academic credentials of another person and tried to pass off as that person. The case is watertight and may well spell the end of APC campaign trial as they are sure to suffer the same fate as their party's candidate in Bielsa who has similar liabilities in his certificate whoa this is indeed a setback okay, we're going to see some of the um pictures as we're talking this is indeed a setback i i you know something told me that for the president to say please ensure there are no illegalities in this whole case ensure proper due processes are being followed 
I suspected there may be something not right. Why would the president get scared? Why would the APC presidency and the whole stop be scared? After all, uh, they had, you know, they did something similar. They tried something similar in Obaseki. UI had to come, University of Ibadan had to come and say, look, we issued a certificate and we said it's not forged. When they said the same thing about uh, in his NYC, the NYC guys, okay, that's no problem. We're going to reissue. Maybe it's disparity in our own part, but he did indeed serve. Okay, and it has settled. Okay, to me, it's, it's, in, it's no gain, it's no case for me because if the school who are uh, being accused of saying this coming came out with a face, face certificate is saying he's, he's all cleared, then he's all cleared because I'm sure he must have his documents in the students' um, uh, academic records, student records in UI. So that's not the case. But now, this whole issue of your, your identity card is different. Your voter's card is di different. Your AP that's the names on your voter's card is different. The names on your membership, APC membership card is different. The names on your WASI, that's a Y or GC, is different. The name on your... Every name, everything is just different. And some of them, some is Ghani, some is Ghani, some is Abdu, some, some is Ab Ab Ahudu. You know, to mix in the whole thing. You, like someone right they say, just maybe, it can't be the same. But you, did you forget your name? When you're writing why you forgot the name? When you're registering for APC membership, you forgot the name you carried. You don't know your mother's or your father's name. Or like a, a, a Shomola would say, uh, there was just, just a typographical error. Let's see how this will prove. I just hope that all this thing they're doing, imagine losing it. And I'm also watching. Let's just hope that um, if they bring this whole case again, after the, I will, will not hear a case of a uh, judiciary is under pressure. There shouldn't be any pressure here if eventually uh, if this is uh, found, if he's found, uh, if this whole allegation is found to be true. But don't forget that even if they say they should drop the running mate of Izzy Yamona, it's too late. Why? Because the names have been duly submitted. Because these are the due processes. Like, have you seen sometimes we treat ourselves in the leg? Or, uh, uh, what is the Obasaki had no issues with academic. They tried to rope an uh, academic issue on him. They should have done due diligence on the uh, Ahudu guy who is supposed to be the running, who is the running, running mate of Izayamo. But they didn't. Their whole mind was, uh, they have to move out of Obasaki. Obasaki must not contest. Obasaki... And they just brought every other person in without doing the same due process. They tried on Obasik. If they had done it, the same due process on Ahudu, they would have noticed these disparities and probably have told them, please step aside. We don't have we don't have such luxuries to begin to lose campaign or lose elections after being won simply because we have uh, certificate disparities. But let's quickly feel the pulse of Nigerians over this because obviously Nigerians, you know, this is things that Nigerians like to react over simply because the politicians have truly dealt with Nigerians. So anything to right the wrong, Nigerians are actually interested in them. Okay, let's see what uh, this one here is saying. This one here is saying, Wahala Deo Oshomola will have serious running stomach tonight. Yeah, they tell you. This one here is saying, Okay, now let us go there. This one here is saying, Chai, this is a uh, sleepless night everywhere. <laughs> this is serious. This one here is saying, Chai, now wow, Ebola go, Corona come, APC die. <laughs> this is serious. This one here is saying, The case is water title. Time for lawyers to cash out for Shomola's head. But why is APC always making the same mistakes? I've been a divine intervention be this. That's another question. They did the same mistake in, in uh, uh, bias. I would have expected them to be very careful. I guess that was why the presidency asked that same question. Is due diligence followed? We do not want repetition. Well, he may likely go that way if you venture. If you ask me, for me, I would have just said they shouldn't spend so much money. Imagine spending all the campaign money to lose it during court injunction. But then this is Nigeria. Anything and everything is possible in this country. Let's continue. Let us continue. I know that the level of corruption that is in this country, even a loser can become a winner in a split second. That's how bad, how corrupt, fantastically corrupt Nigerian system is. For the now, maybe go with the you no know, send divine uh, intervention. But for now, this is what we're experiencing in the country. This one here is saying, Oshomala will tell his Edo people that the man does not always use his baptismal name. And they will believe him. <laughs> this is serious. Very hilarious. This one here is saying, when it trains for easy, easy Yamo, it pours. This one here is saying... Ah, Oshomola is finally finished. You know, that's another thing. You see, the loss of 
or uh, uh, the loss of Iziyama, Pastor Iziyama, if eventually he loses, because uh, we're still looking at Nigerian case, Nigerian factor. If he wins in this election, okay, if, because I'm not sure, we all know that there's going to be some level of federal might in these elections. Now, if he eventually wins in this election and they go back into the judiciary, okay, and they begin to drag this out, it will, it's like it's as if Oshomole is contesting with Obasiki again. Uh, Ize Yamo is more like an excuse why he's into the game. The truth of the matter is simply because Obasiki is in the race, Oshomole is in the race. Whether Ize Yamo, Pastor Ize Yamo likes it or yes, the truth of the matter is the contest is actually between Obasiki and Ize Yamo. Ize Yamo is trying to prove uh, Obasiki, I mean, Obasiki and um, uh, Oshomole rather. Oshomole is trying to prove to uh, Obasiki that once a boy, always a boy. Once a godfather, always a godfather. Edo is still Edo. While Obasek is trying to tell him, say, guy, Edo no be Lagos. Godfatherism ends in this time. But time will tell if eventually Edo is not Lagos or if eventually Godfatherism has come to stay in Edo State. Let's move to the comment section. What's your take on this? I feel there's trouble ahead. If it is not corrected now, I show you the trouble. Like, oh, better still, we can do it the Nigerian way. Before the before the judiciary uh, will take place, they handpick the judge that will be going into uh, the case with the federal might, of course, so that they will look into the same is the same case of Bayasa uh, Bayasa's case, and this time around, instead of it going to AP, a PDP, it goes to APC as compensation. This is Nigeria, you know. Let's put in a conversation next in time. What's your take on this? Do you think uh, there's still hope for Basaki? even though the federal might is coming to play, or do you think that Osh